Hello everyone and welcome to our short training video on how to turn one of your old laptops into a Chromebook. So first we're going to start with where you get your Chrome operating system. This process requires a couple things. First you're going to need to go to this website. Uh, it is Neverware. It's called Cloud Ready. Uh, you can use the home version. The Cloud Ready Neverware version of Chrome OS is now part of the actual Google company, so it is trustworthy. Uh, and what you want to do is scroll down until you find this kind of section here that says how to do it. Uh, what you're going to need, you're going to need an 8 gigabyte or larger USB stick. I have found that either an 8 gigabyte or a 16 gigabyte are ideal. Sometimes if they're larger, like a 32, it actually doesn't work. So um, if you can find a 16 gigabyte, I think that's ideal, or an 8 gigabyte, but it may be able to work with larger ones um, also. Uh, it takes about 20 minutes to create uh, the memory stick that allows you to turn on Chrome OS on an old laptop. So you're going to need a, a normal computer, a Windows computer that works just fine. And what you do is you download this USB um, maker. And so you go ahead and click download. It'll download probably to your downloads folder. Once you do that, you can go ahead and open it up. And it will ask you for permissions. You say, yes, go ahead, install. And it'll open up this utility right away. Um, at this point, you go ahead and just follow the instructions. So you'll click next. Uh, and right here, you will want to actually plug in your USB stick. So I just plugged mine in. You'll click next, next. Um, and it'll ask you which one. So you may have more than one stick plugged in. Make sure it's the correct one because whatever is on this memory stick is gonna be completely erased. Um, so this is just a generic flash disk USB device. That just means a flash memory stick or a little thumb drive. Go ahead and click next and then it's going to download an image uh, and the image is a file type that contains all of the information needed to install the operating system on your old laptop or your old computer uh, it may take a while it is pretty big it's a six to you know eight gigabyte file um, and this program downloads the image and then it writes it directly onto the usb stick so uh, we'll go ahead and let that complete. I'll speed up my video a little bit so you don't have to wait through it. And once the download is completed, you will see it says now we are creating the USB installer. So this could take up to 20 minutes. I found it usually takes about five or 10 minutes, uh, but just let it sit, um, go off, grab a cup of coffee, do something else, and wait for it to complete. It says, congratulations, you finished. At this point, you just go ahead and click finish, or you can go back to the install guide here and I'll tell you what to do next. So we're gonna click finish, and then we're gonna go ahead and kind of just go through the rest of this. It says, use the new USB installer that you just created to install CloudReady. So there should be a link on the install guide. The next step is simply to go to your other computer, uh, plug it in, while the computer is turned off, the old laptop is turned off. And then the next thing you do is turn it on and it's gonna, you're gonna wanna follow this little chart here. While the machine is booting on, you're gonna wanna push one of these buttons. I'll show you on it. So now we're gonna take our drive and plug it into the computer. I've got an old Dell here, we plugged in our drive, we're just going to go ahead and hit the power. And then as soon as it turns on, you can see up there, we'll push F12, and we'll select the USB drive, and hit enter. We'll just let it load, and then you'll see a splash screen saying welcome, do not click that button. That is not the one you want. Instead, go down and click on this little oval in the lower right hand corner. So when you click on that little oval, this black box will pop up and you're gonna wanna click that circle at 
the top left of that black box that says install OS. We'll go ahead and click install. Remember this will erase everything on the hard drive uh, and then the installation progress will continue. At this point it's important to leave it alone until it turns off on its own. And then you turn it on and you're ready to go. Good luck.